college? And well, well, some of them, uh, they, they were informed that they were not uh, college material and they should go into, into other endeavors. Some, some of them told them uh, you couldn't be this and couldn't be that. Maybe you need to go into a vocational school. Maybe you might be a good mechanic. Maybe you may be, because I, in, I in, uh, encouraged something on a job where I went one time and I was younger. And they said, well, you, you ain't got enough of this. You, you may be just good with your hands. And, and not to even think about going to a college or anything. But you cannot go by what people plant in your head. And if you, and if you do in this world today, you be stopped right there in, in your tracks. So uh, some of the kids uh, thought everything was just going to end for them right then. And they thought they weren't going to do no better. But that, but that was on both sides because nobody knew what was coming. Nobody knew what was coming. But the change was good. From all I can see is it's been a lot of success that came out of that class of 71. Uh, and nobody really should be complaining about something that happened in 71 when, when they're doing as well as they're doing now. Everything is a struggle. Everything is a struggle in life. There's nothing that comes to you free except you born with a gifted spoon in your mouth. Well, all of a sudden, your school wasn't going to have the same name. You weren't going to be with the same people you came up with. You didn't know how the reaction from the other school combining with you as a black child or human being was going to be. You had different opinions on both sides. You, you know, sometimes uh, people would say, negative things about black people or negative things about white people, but you have to learn people for yourself. And one thing that I have done, I have looked at people as the human race. Because if you just focus on a race, you're going to be disappointed in people, period. Because people are going to be people. There's good black people and good white people. And I found out that there were good white people. You know, it was a fear. When, when you went into that environment, how am I going to get treated? And I'm going to get mistreated. Are they going to talk down to me like I, I have heard from the past? Just like my, uh, my grandparents had worked real hard and they had worked for white people and they lived on, on uh, people's land. And that's how they made their living. That's how they had somewhere to live. Okay. We didn't know if everything was going to turn back that way because we were excelling to go forward to have better. And, but little did we know that things were going to get better. But the lifestyle changed for everybody. And the lifestyle became good if, if they would just focus on the good and not look at all the negative stuff that took place. And like I said, we were young then. And... When you're young, you don't have a lot of wisdom and you don't have a lot of understanding. But now that we're at the age where we're at, now it's class of 71, 63. Okay, I just turned 63. And some may, may be still 62. But why should you be still sad about a change? Change is happening all over the world. If it didn't happen with our class, it was going to happen with another. And I just see the good that has come out. And I don't have nothing negative to say. You might find some that's still upset, but I'm so sorry for them. They lost in time and lost in space. Because we're living now. We're not living back then.